This is the Raspbian operating system with Pixel Windows running on a Raspberry Pi Zero W computer. I'm going to demonstrate some basic features and show some applications that run well on the Pi Zero and some others where the CPU comes up short. Up in the upper left, we have the little Raspberry symbol. You click on that and you get um, these options, programming, office, internet, and so on. The next icon is the Chromium web browser. I'll be showing that shortly. Um, this is the file manager, um, the um, Linux terminal uh, window. And these two are math applications, um, Mathematica and Wolfram. This is uh, the VNC server, which allows me to access the Raspberry Pi remotely from my PC so I can record this session. Um, so I don't even need to hook up a keyboard or mouse or a monitor to the Raspberry Pi. Just it's, it's just got a power supply connected to it and it's got the SD card and that's all, it's just sitting there. This is the um, Bluetooth to connect Bluetooth devices, the uh, Wi-Fi connections, volume control, and this is important, the uh, CPU busyness indicator. Um, if you're running something that's very intensive, it goes 100% and, and you'll notice the performance go down. This is the clock and the eject um, peripheral button. So I'll start here. This is the um, Linux terminal. And I found that it runs uh, just like what you expect, uh, you can run Unix, Linux commands like uh, ls, which is a directory, or ls-a uh, for a detailed directory. Um, and you can do top, for, for example, which tells you the top CPU users at the current time. To get out of top, you type q. And it works very fast. I haven't noticed any kind of slowdown or performance issue with, with using ordinary Unix kind of commands. Um, so this is the file manager. It's it's a, like just like the file browser you'd see on Windows or, or Mac. Uh, works just the way you expect. Um, you navigate through, through your folders and so on. This is the Chromium web browser, so I'll demonstrate that. Click that, and you can see there. There is some. It takes some time, and there's a lag. And you can see the 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 CPU indicator has gone to 100%. So it's 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 thinking. Now, for for simple web pages like my Atari Dog Days page, which just contains text and some GIF images and and you know pretty simple stuff, it the the web browser is pretty pretty good. It, it's pretty efficient. You, you, it loads fast and you can scroll down and view everything. But if you get to something a little more complicated, it's still at 100% over here. Let's say you want to go to um, Google News, for example. Say news.google.com. And you have to wait. You can see over here it's 100%. Okay, so far it's pretty normal, but it takes a while to load all those images, JavaScript, and ads, and so on. They, they take a while to load. So you notice a, a more noticeable delay. If you, if you go to Yahoo, the Yahoo main page, you can just forget it, that there's so much junk in the Yahoo page that it takes forever to load. So you can see it, it, you can do it. It's usable, but it's kind of slow. I'm trying to scroll down to the next news article, and it's not going because it's still loading or processing. It's, it's, it's not a, a Wi-Fi speed issue or, or a memory issue. Let me demonstrate that. Let me go to um, the Raspberry Pi symbol, accessories, and task manager. It's like your Windows task manager tells you how 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 busy it is, how this, how busy the CPU is, how how much memory is being used, uh, and so on. So you can see the CPU is at 100%, but memory is only at 50%. There's there's half a gigabyte of RAM on on the Raspberry Pi Zero. 
W. I'll leave that up. So now, now we can, um, I think the page is maybe loaded now, or it's still 100%, but let's see if I can at least scroll down to the bottom. Yeah, things are still loading and being processed. So if you're planning, if you're trying to use YouTube, for example, I'd say just forget it. It, it takes so long to render videos that it skips and, and, and jumps and you got to wait all the time. So um, I would not try to use this for YouTube. So let me close that. Um, so let's take a look at this Raspberry Pi menu and look at the list of programming languages. There's uh, Java, uh, Python, Scratch, and so on. So there's quite a, quite a choice. And whatever you don't have already, already in your operating system, you can easily download and, and start using. Um, this is a set of um, tools that are similar to Microsoft Office called LibreOffice. It's a open source, free, uh, set of tools. So you have your database tool, your spreadsheet like like um, Excel, a draw program like Visio, um, Impress, I guess that's presentations like PowerPoint, Math, I, I guess that's just math, and, and, and then a word processor called Writer. And I found that I haven't tried very many of these, but I, I did try the, the spreadsheet, uh, LibreOffice Calc. And I found it, it worked fast. It, um, well, you can see the CPU, it's, it's busy for a while while, while LibreOffice is loading. But once it's loaded, I can, um, there's your, your, your usual spreadsheet, uh, very much like uh, Excel. And I have this fairly complicated spreadsheet that I, I'm gonna read in, and see how long it takes. And while it's loading, we can look at the task manager, see how busy it is. Okay, thinking, thinking, there it is. It's got all, all the numbers in there with, um, there are lots of charts and tables in this thing. So um, I found the, the spreadsheet works pretty fast. So I'm gonna close this. Okay, let's see what else we have in here. So we have the office, utilities, the browser we looked at already. Um, games, there's a Minecraft game called Minecraft Pi and Python games, I don't know what that is. Accessories, you've got a calculator, uh, we saw the file manager already, image viewer, PDF viewer, SD card copier, task manager, I showed you that already, the terminal I showed you. There's a plain text editor. So if you if you're familiar with VI, you can use VI to edit files, or if you're not, you can use this this simple text editor program. I'm gonna close this now. No, I don't want to save. Okay, what else do we have here among accessories? Oh, we looked at these. Um, help will take you um, to help on the Debian operating system, which is on which the Raspbian is based and help on the Raspberry Pi. I think these are web-based help uh, tools. Um, early on, you probably want to use this preferences menu to um, do these kinds of things, add, remove software, uh, appearance options, like I want I wanted a plain desktop and not a photo. So I, I set that with this, control the audio, the keyboard and mouse options, um, main menu editor, and Raspberry Pi configuration. Let's see what the Raspberry Pi configuration is. Oh, password, usernames, and so on. Interfaces, performance. And um, the main menu, what is that? Oh, I guess to customize your, your pull-down menu. Yes, exactly. So you can customize your your uh, your menus easily with this utility. Um, let's see, did I cover everything? I think I covered just about everything as for an introduction. 
I did run into a few problems in setting up my Raspberry Pi the first time, and if you were interested in those those uh, particular problems, you can uh, go to um, the, the the text below the video, and I, I, I described some of the things I, I did and how I solved them. Okay, hope you enjoyed the, the demo, and good luck with your Raspberry Pi Zero W.